Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Benito. Just gonna give you a quick rundown on Aaron's Benito 500 tiller steer. So this particular boat has a handful of options. Um, lovely all white, very clean. Great looking boat. Just give you a quick run, walk around of the outside before we jump on in and go through it. So Aaron's decided to purchase his own trailer. So it's sitting on a Savage C-Series galvanized trailer. So it looks awesome. So yeah, it looks fantastic. Looks super strong. It's gonna tow this up to Stanwich Bay and go crabbing and you have an absolute blast. So on the outside, up the front, just starting up the front here, we've got the Benito stainless steel bow roller, all in all laser cut. All 316 stainless, looks absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the electric motor mount up on the bow here. So we recommend a 72 inch, 80 pound Minn Kota or motor guide. Holds these nicely offshore. This is the anchor, un anchor well. It's a plenty of room to mount drum winch, big bull horn cleat here. As you can see all nicely, neatly flow coated and speckled. Let's close that up and you'll notice again it's all non-skid up on the top of the top deck and on the casting platform all the way around the top deck going further down this particular boat is fitted with a black gunnel rubber pop up pop down recessed into the top deck stainless steel cleats breathers for your underfloor fuel tank and then nice stainless steel Rod holders, there's four of them fitted on this boat. Uh, Benito stickers, drain for your live bait tank. So you need a nice large live bait and tank in here. Aerator so you can turn it on or off. Fuel filling point up on the rear, nice and easy when you're pulling up at the service station. You got your ski hooks down in the back here. This boat is fitted with the swim, uh, the transom steps, sorry. So you can, flat, you can put a folding telescop, telescopic boarding ladder on here. And then these are the scuppers down in here. So these balls float up when that is at the water level and blocks your floor, your self-draining deck off. So you know, water gets into your boat. Motor well. This, these boats are rated for 115 horsepower. This particular boat's being fitted with 115 horsepower Suzuki. So uh, he'll um, have a fuel economy of well over two kilometers per liter, probably closer to three. I know the 90 horsepower Suzuki's are around three. So 125 liter tank, unreal range. Should give you, yeah, un three or more than three, more than 300 kilometers of range. Just amazing, really. We can fit 150 liter tank in these if you want to option that. So, in, inside the boat now we've got, this is the, the small cast platform. So these are all fully fiberglassed into the hull and then flow coated very neatly. And then you've got a recessed drain. So water shouldn't or doesn't get down into your um, storage area. These all drain overboard as well. All 316 stainless catches and hinges same on this side so open that up give you a quick look at all that and then it's all non-skid that's all really good when they're wet nice and grippy coming back down this particular boat's got two side pockets these are fully fiberglassed to the boat as well so they're super strong you can stand on these I'm not going to do it in this boat because it's not mine, but yeah, you can, they're super strong. They're ne they'll never come apart. Going back down to the back of the boat, you got the three hatches. One, two, and three. So your battery over in this side, and then over in the corners and in the middle, you'll see the stainless steel grates. These are for your self-draining deck. So if you ever get, when you get water on your deck, it just goes down into the grates, down through the back here, straight out into the back through your scuppers. 
so no water will get in here if there ever does there's a bung in the back and then yeah that's your fuel filling point down in here so your fuel pickup comes out here and then there's a fuel breather oh not breather sorry um filter mount underneath your underneath your seat there so coming across here this is where your battery isolator is located it's recessed into the top deck so it's out of the way can't get bumped yeah and then the floors so the floors are all fully composite and then same with the transoms and then the hulls are all fiberglass to the top deck so they're one solid piece of fiberglass just close this up really quick jump on out you can these boats are also rated for five people so you can take the whole family out on them and again i'll just give you another look the bait tank up in this corner nice big and blue so it's up to my elbow give you an idea of how deep that is yeah. just a quick walk through just really quick again congratulations aaron hope you like it can't wait to see you out fishing in it and have a good christmas mate there we go just give you one last shot of the Benito 500 here with the Savage trailer. This interests you, check out our Instagram page, just Benito Boats. And then same with Facebook, it's Benito Boats Australia. And also, thank you for watching and have a good day.